Thanks for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today we are going to be reviewing extensively the new Mizuno Tour Ball range, which is the Mizuno RB Tour and RB Tour X. We're gonna be working with Ian today, who's gonna to be hitting our shots, and then uh, we'll see how they are. First off, we're dealing with a three-piece urethane covered golf ball with both the X and the non-X versions. The RB Tour is going to be a lower spinning, more penetrating ball flight for the RB Tour X. We're looking for something that's going to go a little bit higher, and we're looking for something that's gonna spin a little bit more. First things first, we're gonna head out to our bunker, and we are going to be doing a short game and durability test um, during all of these tests, we're going to be doing a comparison with the rest of the tour balls that are really out there and seeing how it stacks up. We are testing the durability of the new tour ball range from Mizuno, the RB Tour and RB Tour X. And we did 15 bunker shots as well as around 10 greenside shots to uh, get an idea of what the cover's like and what the um, kind of control around the greens are, which Ian here is gonna talk about in a minute. And we have it compared to two competitor tour balls. And we're gonna see what we're looking at here. So first one I'm holding is the RB Tour. So the standard option, right? And what I'm seeing here is considering 15 bunker shots and considering 10 roughly kind of short game shots, that cover is looking pretty good still. I've got one little bunker mark there and that's really it. And that's not gonna affect the ball? No, I would say I would have no problem continuing to play this ball kind of throughout my round. I'd yeah. say that's pretty good, you agree? I would agree, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the RB Tour X. Now this one has a little bit more and we'll show you guys some close ups here. A little bit more damage, but it's really only one bad scuff mark where you're actually losing some cover there. And it still stopped relatively quick. And the two Mizuno balls still, as like you said, they still stopped better in terms of short side or short kind of green side control. Um, it seemed better in our test than the other two. Now, let's look specifically at some of the competitor balls. So we look at one of the uh, competitor balls here and we see that there's two kind of decently sized Gash. kind of bunker marks or gashes on there. In all honesty, it did pretty good, but the Mizuno from a durability standpoint, it seemed like it did maybe a hair better. And we'll look at the other one here. And this one actually did really well. This is another competitor ball and I'm not really seeing much no. this there's nothing really wrong with this guy so i would say that when we're testing from a durability standpoint right strictly durability if we're comparing this to two leading tour balls which we are it stood up as well as if not even in some cases better than kind of what's out there right. so i would say from a cover standpoint we've got some pretty good stuff going on yeah. now talk to me a little bit about what you were noticing from a feel standpoint all i noticed is that the, the mizuno ones kept their spin yeah, it seemed like it, it was holding up a little bit better. Yeah. And it was still, even on shot 15, drop and stop pretty yeah. good out of a bunker. We're talking about a, what, about a 25-yard, 30-yard bunker shot there. So that's pretty good. You know, it's a pretty big-sized bunker shot. Yeah. Um, I'd say it did really well. Because I actually had to lay in it farther. Mm -hmm. to stop it. Yeah. It was, stop it was stopping. It would bounce once and stop. It yeah. had about a foot bounce, literally. So I'd say it did pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? So far, I, so good? You liking what you're seeing? Good. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Now we're going to be going over what some of the kind of raw data shows us. So first we're going to be working with the RB Tour from Mizuno. Um, in terms of what to uh, expect out of this golf ball, it's being marketed as a lower spinning, penetrating kind of ball flight. So we're going to see kind of what that looks like. We're going to be using TrackMan today. It's a nice day out. So we have normalized set turn or turned off. And then we also have... Uh, all of Ian's fitted golf equipment, uh, all of his new equipment that he's going to be using next year. So we have really controlled kind of windows we're going to be working in. That was a good one. A very good one. 
So what kind of numbers do you expect to see out of a, a seven iron, Ian? Low 190, okay. like a 192-ish okay. carry. And just dead straight like that. <laughs> Lacing them down the middle. Yeah. I like it. I missed it just a bit, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Good ball fly. You get away with it. Mm. Now, one of the big things here, Ian, because one of the only things we can't test, obviously, is I want you to really pay attention to the feel of these golf balls. Okay. Um, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is a straight comparison between the RB Tour and the RB Tour X. Yeah. So um, really kind of pay attention to the differences in terms of what they're feeling like. All I know is we're swinging good today. It's looking good. So did that one spin more? It did. Okay. Actually, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst one, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that one was firmer. A little bit firmer? Yeah. This one's definitely should feel that way according to kind of what they would suggest. So we have two good groups here, right? Both of those I think you'd be okay with in terms of Oh, I'd be fine with them. You know, results. Right, now let's look at what the actual numbers would suggest in terms of differentiation between the two. So remember, the RB Tour, we're expecting to see something that is going to be going a touch less spin and a touch lower, okay? So RB Tour, we're looking at 6,200 spin, we're looking at 194 carry, and we're looking at 29 landing angle, or uh, I'm sorry, 48 landing angle with 132 peak height. Where we look at the RB Tour X, we're looking at 6,700 spin, so a touch more, and it's literally two feet higher. So kind of doing exactly what it says. And yeah. I know it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but that is precisely kind of what the ball is designed to do. Go slightly higher and spin slightly more. So for the guy who needs that, the RB Tour X seems like it might be a good window. So I, I like the standard deviation of the X. The standard deviation with the X is great. The standard deviation on both is great. Yeah. I mean, you hit both of those golf balls really, really good. And I hit but, one miss with each, and they still were fine. Yeah. Like you said, you're swinging it or pretty good to that. Off. I'm pretty okay with that. Now, um, were you able to know, notice a difference between the two from a field standpoint? The X was a bit firmer. A bit firmer? Just a bit. Okay. Now, you, you, you're a better player, right? Um, you, you normally play a premium tour golf ball, right? Is this a feeling that you would expect to see in that premium tour ball kind of range, let's yeah. say? Right? Seems like it feels nice. Seems like you're getting total package so far, right? So far, yeah. Talk about look of the golf ball, because I know the look of the golf ball is a little bit different. Um, you think? I mean, yeah, it's professional looking and looks like a golf ball, so I like it. I mean, overall, it's, it's a nice golf ball. I mean, the, besides the two that I missed, they're both right They're there. right there, yeah. Now, performance-wise, I don't think we can find much to argue with there. No. Um, I would say overall, it looks like it's a pretty good golf ball. Agreed. Now, I've tested and I've played with Mizuno golf balls in the past at times when we uh, were doing some testing, right? And the unique thing that I found was I find that Mizuno golf balls, when they make their two different versions, right, it's actually, they, they very much are differentiated, right? Yeah. It's very clear-cut. And I think here we can see that it was... Yeah. More clear cut. There's yeah. actually a, a difference, yeah. right? And that's a good thing. So that's something that I think, you know, Mizuno can be applauded for. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a test kind of looking at some of the uh, other tour balls that are out there and kind of look at where the numbers stack up against those. So, we just hit four more tour balls, Yeah. right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, real quick here, everything. 
we could see that there's some good groups up there. There's some groups that aren't the greatest. And what we did was we left everything in there. Um, Misfits and all. Everything, right? Because what we want to do is we want to see exactly what everything looks like, right? Like Ian's a pretty good player, so he's not going to miss all that much. And this shows kind of what everything looks like. And I would say if we're talking about the company's kind of new push into the tour market, let's say, it's rather competitive. So first thing I wanna look at is spin. Now, we have one that's marketed as a lower spin one and one that's marketed as a higher spin one, right? And in terms of the other four balls that were tested, we have both low and high spin variants in there as well. So 6,200, 6,700, 7,000, 6,800, 5,700, and for all intents and purposes, 6,900, 7,000. Um, I would say we are right in the window in terms of competitive to the rest of these golf balls that are up there. It's like right in the middle. It is. It sits right in the middle of the pack so far, it looks like. Now, if we look at kind of overall yardage, I would say you're also right in the middle. kind of right in the middle, if not maybe a hair towards the top end, right? We look at peak height, landing angle. Are we losing anything landing angle-wise? 47, 49, 46, 49. No, we're not losing anything landing angle wise. Uh, peak height, there is actually a noticeable difference between these two. It seems like they both fly a little bit higher than some of the other stuff out there, but it's not losing anything from a spin perspective. So, all in all, I would say performance wise, we have something here that looks pretty solid and looks rather competitive, I would say, with the rest of the premium tour ball market out there. Would you agree? I liked him. I mean, you can play with golf with that, right? I can play golf with it. Well, let's hit, let's hit the driver. Let's hit the driver. We're going to hit driver next. From there, I think we'll see kind of more kind of differentiation, let's say, in the product. So we are now going to be really taking a deep dive in with driver, right? Um, driver is a different animal. You guys have all seen Ian hit driver before. And trying to get good numbers out of a driver and a golf ball for him is... Sometimes an important or a challenging thing, but always an important thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them hit some and we're going to see kind of what this is. So that's my fade. Now, again, wow, it's still going. To reiterate, this is the driver Mizuno, or uh, this is the driver that Ian has been fit for. This is the Mizuno RB Tour golf ball and TrackMan is not on normalize. Nice day out, so this is as real as it gets. That's a better fade. Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that one was better. No? Yes? You just cut that and it went 330 yards. Are you kidding me? That's gross. What we can see here is well, disclaimer. That went far. Disclaimer. I am right. <laughs> disclaimer. He is he is aiming a little bit right right now, but that's okay. Based on the range and how this is all set up, I I like to aim a little right. So, but I do like it to fall right. So that's what. I, that's what I'm saying. Those golf balls. Those are not. Bad. That's how you play. They feel good off the face. I was genuinely impressed the fact that some of those were maintaining the spin that they were maintaining yeah. with you cutting the ball like you were. Because normally to get you to sit in windows like that, we got to get you to turn the ball over. So that's pretty good. Let's see a couple more. This is the RB Tour X now. Yeah, like that, I'd take that all day. That one definitely felt firmer. And this is the one that's going to spin more. Yeah. Right? This is the one that, from knowing your swing and from having fit you in the past, right, this is not the one that I would say I would play for you. No. Right? I would put you in the Tor, the RB Tor versus the RB Tor X 
but still a good thing to kind of have on camera and kind of get yeah. some good testing in, you know? Oh, that was on the screws. That one went far. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. <laughs> that one went far. That was gross. Okay. Yeah, that was good. So, Captain Ball Speed over here. Captain <laughs> Ball Speed. Let's figure out what these look like. Wait, what did Trent call me? Holy Batman Ball Speed? Holy Batman Ball Speed, yeah. <laughs> Bat signals out tonight, man, let me tell you. Here's what I can say. I am quite impressed with one Ball Speed. I am quite impressed with the deviations in those, considering they are going very far. I mean, your landing angle is always high, so yeah. that doesn't surprise me. This is right in your wheelhouse for being pretty good. Yeah. How did it feel off the face for you? The, the, the Tour one was much softer than the X, mm -hmm. so I like that one better. But. And that's the one I think, like, again, that's the one I think we should play if you were gonna play a Mizuno ball next year. Um, I really like it though. I mean, there's nothing here that suggests. I don't mind it. I, this is literally right in your wheelhouse. Yeah. Right. For a guy swinging 100 and what 25 today, 123 average today. Yeah. I take that all day to the bank, man. You know, I'm happy. I would I'm, say so far it seems like kind of checking all the boxes, crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. Right. We might have to try this next year. I, I think we might have to revisit it kind of early in the year for you. In all honesty, for real. You know? Correct. Um, okay. Closing thoughts on this golf ball. What do you think? Try it. Right? Yeah. Let it rip. I think it's, it's definitely worth trying. I think that there's a lot of really good things going on with this golf ball. And the test that we've seen today, um, it just seems like it's something that should work pretty good for the person looking for a tour golf ball. Right? Um, in closing, give it a rip. I think it's worth it. <laughs>